Welcome. Today we're going to be going over QuickBooks for small business owners. I'm going to show you some basic setup, how we're going to get to bank transactions, going through the process, and just your very, very basic intro to QuickBooks when you're just getting started for your small business. Let's get started. Now we're at QuickBooks homepage. It says try QuickBooks online for free. What we're going to do in this particular case is click on the button right here where it says free trial for 30 days. And we're going to turn it off because as you see, the price drops down to 50% off for three months. Now we won't be getting the 30 day free trial, but we're going to get a lower price point across the board. It's 50% off for our first three months. So even on the simple start plan, if we keep the plan for three months, We'll still be saving money in the long run, which is the whole point of accounting in the first place. So we're going to choose simple start on this page. Now it asks if we want to add payroll. We won't be needing this for our tutorial. Therefore, we'll just continue without payroll. Now we're going to put in an email, password, and our phone number. Okay. Now let's put in our billing information and we're going to click subscribe. So now we see the welcome screen. Let's keep QuickBooks working for you. Get started. For starters, What's your business call? In this particular situation, we'll just call it Jason Miller CP. What were you using before QuickBook? We're going to click nothing because I'm starting a brand new company. But in this particular situation, we're gonna start the company as new because even if you were starting it as though it's new, you can import past information later. It's no big deal. QuickBooks is very user friendly. And then right here, we have to choose an industry or business type. In my case, I'm going to put Office of Certified Public Accountants. This helps QuickBooks know the default accounts to load, but I'm going to show you how to change some of the default accounts that are loaded into our software because I don't necessarily like all of those. I don't think you will either, but don't stress about this part. Try to choose what option best fits your particular business. Next, under how many employees, we're going to put just the owner Honestly, I don't think payroll is their strongest suit. So we're going to click on next. This page an expert can get you up and running. We don't need to do this. That's going to charge us an extra fee. So we're just going to skip it for now. Now, you nailed the basics. So let's keep going. We're going to click on go ahead and personalize your invoices and make them payable. There's also an option to link a bank or credit card. We're eventually going to do that, but we can do that once QuickBooks opens. Let's get you paid using QuickBooks. We're gonna skip that for now. Now, let's get organized to see your business clearly. So we'll just skip that for now. Snap and save receipts from anywhere. Again, we're just going to skip this for now. We're just trying to get to the main QuickBooks page. Again, anything here we can set up at another time. So we're not gonna worry about any of that. Now it's getting everything ready. Let's go, okay? QuickBooks is up and running. This is the dashboard. This is the page we're going to be brought to every single time we sign into QuickBooks. So just a couple of things. We can customize layout here. There's cash flow and planners. We're gonna click on transactions here in the left menu and it shows bank transactions right there. This shows us how to automate income and expense tracking. We can connect an account or we can upload transactions. It's a really great feature. It makes everything so much more simple. I don't have a bank account for this particular business that we just created, but you should definitely have a bank account for your business. Since we're just getting started, we don't have a bank account. I just want to show you how to get QuickBooks open and started. Over here is a couple more options. We have the sales. This is where we can create invoices. I'm gonna have a whole video on that expenses, bills, vendors, contractors, 1099 filings, which is super important, customers and leads. I have never used this section. We have the report. This is a really cool part of QuickBooks. Right here, we have the balance sheet, profit and loss, and accounts receivable agent summary. This is a really, really neat report. Again, since this is a brand new company and there's nothing on here, this report will show us any sales that we haven't collected payment for. It's a great report because if we need to collect sales, which is the most important thing we do in business, then we need to know who actually owes us money. We can also go back to this report list and there's the balance sheet and the profit and loss. I'll show you some cool little tricks in those once we actually have some transactions uploaded. So what I also like is the accounts payable aging summary. This report's great. If you're using a vendor for 
pest control or IT services and they give you 30 days or 20 days or 15 days, whatever it may be, to actually pay them. We can pull this report up here and it'll show us exactly who needs to, who we need to pay and when we need to pay it. So then we have payroll. Again, let's skip that. We'll do that far down the line. Time, this is something I've never used. This is related to payroll, taxes. This one is cool because you can add different taxes if you need to report sales tax for your state. Also has 1099 filings, which I wanna say is only $4 per filing and it'll do everything for you. This is a really cool feature if we're paying a lot of people that have sole proprietorships or we're using a friend that just does work on the side, but we wanna be able to keep track of it and file our actual 1099 reports with the IRS. QuickBooks can do all of that for us. And here we have My Accountant. This is where you can export your information to your accountant. If you need your own CPA, of course you can reach out to me and we can put right here, Jason Miller CPA one at gmail.com and click invite. It'll send an invite to me and then I can start helping you with all of your accounting needs. Let's discuss a couple of other things I like. We have a search bar up here. One of my favorite things is the chart of account. We're gonna go ahead and pull that report up. This is all the accounts that are preloaded by default into QuickBooks. I'm gonna show you how to add new accounts as you may need, but these are the preloaded defaults. We have cash, which is tied to our bank, our accounts receivable. And in this particular situation, we don't have any buildings. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this account inactive. The reason I'm deactivating this account is because all of these reports that we're going to eventually run, all of the accounts that we're not using, it'll still show up on that report unless we set certain features so that it doesn't do that. There's a lot of these accounts that I just don't like because we can always add new accounts whenever we want. So let's say we wanna make one for bank charges, which is a very common expense. So then we put account name, bank charges, select the account type. In this particular situation, it's going to be an expense, detail type, bank charges, and then this is where it'll show up on our profit and loss. It'll go advertising and marketing, bank charges, building, property and rent, so it's done in an alphabetical order. These are all accounts that I will be deleting. QuickBooks tends to over add accounts when you first get started, and we wanna clean up a lot of this. We could scroll down to our expense section all the way down here and there's bank charges. There's the brand new account we just created. It's very, very user friendly. You can also get there from transactions, chart of accounts, here on the left side menu. The business license is another account I don't like. So we're gonna go ahead and click the down arrow, make an act. It does have a couple accounts that they say, hey, every business needs this, so we're not gonna let you delete it. So I'm gonna show you an example right now. If we change the account type here, we're gonna go down by account type. Here in equity, there's this account, opening balance equity. So let's go ahead and try to make this one inactive. One account wasn't deactivated. Here are some reasons that might be the cause. They're one of the default accounts used by our chart of accounts. So that's the reason we couldn't delete every single account. So open and balance equity. Now I don't like that name, so we can edit it. Since QuickBooks won't let me delete it, we'll change it to partner contributions. It's still going to be under equity and it's still going to be under open and balance equity. The name of it's different. It's just a little bit cleaner. Now it's under partner contributions instead of opening balance equity. It's the same type of account. It just has a name that I personally like much better. So when we're cleaning up our accounts, don't worry about deactivating something that you may need because QuickBooks just won't let you do it. Continuing on, there's a settings option over here which gives us our company information. We can change account settings, we can manage users, we can add people. On this particular plan, I think we can only have up to three. I'm not entirely sure. We could switch from business view to accountant view, your subscriptions, list. I'll go over some of these things. The import data and the export data. These are great features and we will go over these. But that's gonna be it for today's video. And the final part is if we click on this little J right here because it's under my email, we can sign out. And that's it. Now you have QuickBooks started and you can start tracking all of your debits and your credits, all of your expenses, your sales. If there's anything specific you need, 
make sure you make me a comment. I'll just respond to your comment and give you an answer. Like and subscribe if you like this type of content. And if you need any bookkeeping services, you can feel free to reach out to me. I do provide this service so that you don't have to deal with it and you can worry about those other aspects of your business. Until next time, see you soon.